Great to see you here again. This is a new video offered to you by the Custer Academy. My name is Luke de Custer. I'm the founder of the Custer Academy. And if you're here for the first time or you didn't subscribe to our channel yet, do not forget to, to click the subscribe button. Click the bell button so every time we have a new video, YouTube will inform you. In this new video, I will talk about a more complex cipher, which is the block cipher. In the previous element, we in the previous cipher, the Caesar cipher, the affine cipher, we always did the same transformation. We used the same values on all the letters of the wo word or the sentence or the message that we wanted to encrypt. Now that's quite easy to find, so we make it a little bit more complex. And now we are going to add a different number depending on the position of the number in the total message. We start basically here with four blocks. Block number one, or the first letter we will give, we will add three. For the second letter we will add add one. For the third letter we will add four and for the fourth letter we will add two. And then five, six, seven, eight. Again we repeat this way of working. Now when we look at this, well we have the word five to decode, all in cap uh, to encode, sorry, all in capital letters. And we are going to add to the first one plus three Modulus 26, well it's 8, modulus 26, that's still 8. We have 8 plus 1, so this gives us 9 or 0, 9, uh, we write it like this. The third letter we have 4, so we have 4 plus 4 is 25. And the last one we add 2 plus 2 is 6, all modulus 26, so it doesn't change anymore. So basically what we get here, we get a new message, and that new message is I, first letter, then I have J, then we have 25 corresponds with Z, and then we have J, the last one, 6, is G. Basically what we are doing here we are in fact writing this as C i is the value plus sigma i mode 26. And we have every time we have one or uh, let's say when i is equal to one plus n times 4, we have sigma 1. When i is 2 plus n times 4, we have sigma 2 and so on. So basically 3 and 4 is the same thing that we can write there. So that's basically how to encrypt using a block cipher. Let's see how we can decrypt the message and find the original message, the decrypted message, again. This is the encrypted message that we found before. Of course, to decrypt it, we have to use the same values of the block cipher that we had before. So basically 8, now we say minus 3, which is equal to 5. 0, 9, minus 1, which is 0, 8. We have 25 minus 4 is 21. And then we have 6 minus 2 is 0, 4. And we can say this is F, this is I, this is V, and this is E. So I basically found the same formula again. We can write this that P is now C minus sigma i modulus 26. And the same thing we have for sigma i. It depends what is the value, 3, 1, 4, and 2, depending on the position of the letter in the word. So first, second, third, 
fourth and then we start from one two three four again so we always look at blocks of four and every every element of the block has a different value or a different uh, element number to add let's have a look at a few exercises to show you how this block cipher works on other examples let's have a look at this word arbogast uh, you may know not know arbogast but in military academy you had the one section who had the military uh, alphabet alpha bravo charlie delta and so on we had the polytechnical division we were a little bit different so we were looking at scientists and mathematicians and we had the alphabet arbogast prachistochrone karatayadori daso Severs, eudox de knit Frobenius, Gauchy, and so on. So we had to know that, and during the infection, by, during our, uh, what they call it, baptism, as a student, we had to know these things. And of course, we kept it in our mind. We still remember some of them, not all of them, but that's why I took Arbogas to uh, encrypt. And the first thing we have to do is to put the numbers here. So we have to find in the list which letter corresponds with which number? So we have A is easy, is 0, 0. R is 17. B is 0, 1. O is 14. G is 6. A is 0, 0. S is 18. And T is 19. So basically those are the letters that we have. And what we have to do now is we have to add those different numbers. So the first one, we add 4. So we find 0, 4. The second number we add sigma 2, which is 1, which is 18. Then we have plus 2, which is 0, 3. And the fourth one plus 3 is 17. And then we start again. So we have plus 4. So we have 10 plus 1. We have 0, 1. Plus 2. We have 20. And the last one plus 3. We have 22. So based on this, we found the original, we have the original uh, message. We identified the numbers, the code numbers corresponding with the letter. And then we add those different values. So we finally get 04, 18, 03, 17, and so on. And now we look again in the table and we say, what are the corresponding letters with these numbers? So we find E. Then 18 corresponds with S, 3 corresponds with D, then uh, 17 corresponds with R, then we have 10 which corresponds with K, then we have 0, 1, that's easy, it's B, then we have 20 which is U, and then we have W. So basically, this is our encrypted message using this block cipher. Not so difficult, but of course, if you want to find out, it's not so easy to find a link between the different letters because every letter has a different number that's added to it. To it. Of course, with the modern technology, it will be easy to decipher, but this was a first improvement and depending on the countermeasures, the measures to decrypt messages, all those cipher and encryption techniques have been improved. But let's now decrypt the message and see what the result is that we get and how we do it. This is the encrypted message that I received and I know that for the blocks we have three, two, four and one. So basically, since we know the key, we can decipher this message by subtracting three from the first, two from the second, four from the third, and one for the fourth number. Let's have a look what we get here. First, we have to identify the number which which each letter corresponds. And Q is 16. Then we have C, which is 0, 2. Then we have T, which is 19, we have the letter P, 
which is 15, we have O, which is 14, G is 0, 6, and then we have S, which is 18, and O is again 14. So these are the letters that correspond, and now we have to subtract those values. So minus 3, we find 13. Then we have minus 2, we have 0, 0. We have minus 4, which gives us 15. Then I have the fourth one, I have minus 1, which is 14. Then we have, again, we start now on letter 5. So we start again from the beginning, minus 3 is 11 minus 2 is 0, 4, minus 4 is 14, and minus 1 is 13. Now when we look back in our table with letters, we find that 13 is N, O, -O or 0 is A, 15 is P, then we have 14 is O, 11 is L, 4 is E, 14 is O, and 13 is N. So basically, the decrypted message says Napoleon, one of the greatest statesmen in Europe, did a lot of good things. We know the battles, we know the battles he lost, and the last battle Napoleon lost was in Belgium in Waterloo, where you still find all the information about that battle and the Lion of Waterloo which is clawing towards France to warn France don't come back. It basically was the place where a, a Dutch prince was injured during the battle. Now Waterloo is basically a touristic area for people who are interested in history and the era of Napoleon. But this is the end of this video. Do not forget to click the subscribe button. Do not forget to click the bell button so every time there is a new video you will be informed. And of course, read the text below the video. You find links to our website, thecosteracademy.com. You find vouchers that give you a great discount when you buy our courses. And of course, we're looking forward to seeing you again. Thank you. And bye-bye.